California couples getting more than $2 billion after taking Bayer to court, blaming the company's Roundup weed killer for causing cancer. It's the largest award of its kind to date, and this is the third straight trial loss for Bayer over the safety of Roundup. At a press conference after the verdict was announced, Alberta Pilliad said she wishes Roundup had been honest about the damaging effects of the product. We wish that Monsanto had warned us ahead of time about the dangers of using Monsanto and that there was something on the front of their label that said danger may cause cancer. At that point, we could have used uh, Roundup, but we wouldn't have used it. But I'm sure a lot of other people would choose to. Uh, and they weren't giving us any choice because from their ads, we felt that it was incredibly safe to use. Alexis Keenan joins us on the couch now to break down the verdict. And Alexis, as I understand it, this is a product that's still out there, right? So, so there could be product. additional, Amazon, additional like lawsuits one. coming forward. Oh, absolutely. And I, uh, I would imagine it will remain on the market. I don't see it getting pulled from the shelves anytime soon, and particularly because a lot of the debate in these lawsuits is between the FDA and other international regulators of, you know, potentially toxic chemicals. You know, you have a whole body of international regulators saying that this is, this glyphosate is a carcinogenic chemical. Um, and you've got the FDA still saying, no, it's safe for humans to use, hedging a little bit more recently, but re-upping its uh, affirmation in April of this year saying that it's okay. So I just want to point out, though, what Bayer Buyer is saying in response to these suits. They do say that they intend on appealing all of these cases. Here's what they say. They say the consensus among leading health regulators worldwide is that glyphosate-based products can be used safely and that glyphosate is not a carcinogenic. So that's their position. They're sticking with that as of now. Now, my question is, are, I mean, obviously the appeal, when any, any result comes out, you know there's going to be appeals. Yeah. Um, but these folks are going to get some amount of money, right? And and there's hundreds of other lawsuits, and clearly yeah. thousands, it, thousands, thousands. And clearly, it seems that juries of their peers are quite sympathetic to the notion that something that you put on your lawn and creates a dead spot is probably not good for you. <laughs> yeah, and they're sympathetic in the punitive damages. We can see it all over the place. They're in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Now we're seeing billions. And let's just take a look at the three cases so far that have already been litigated, and they will, you know, as um, Monsanto and, and Bayer have said they'll appeal. First, we have uh, this recent verdict, this $2.055 billion. Um, this is before the motion to reduce that punitive uh, damages has been made. So that'll get reduced for sure. Um, then we have a previous case, $81 million in 2019, earlier this year. And the first one from last year, that was a $78.5 million award, all in California. And guys, uh, you know, if I was trying to be conservative, okay, and I said, okay, let's say that all of these cases, right now there are about, uh, let's see, 11,200 plus pending lawsuits wow. uh, just on this chemical. Yeah. And this is a proliferation. At the, after the first verdict last year, it started out yeah. with like 2,000, and now we're already at this amount. So have to assume that that's going to climb significantly beyond that. But if we're just conservative and we say, okay, let's reduce those verdicts down to, let's say 5,000 of those cases go forward. Forward. And let's say the award is 75 million. You know, we're up in the catastrophic billions of dollars in uh, liabilities potentially for Bayer here. I, I mean, I've got 375 billion just on that conservative estimate. So I don't know what their insurance coverage is. I don't know what the triggers are for their particular coverage. But you've got to think that you know we and have Bayer to start as a business whether. has been struggling. Bayer, Bayer apparently they bought has lost. Monsanto yeah, for they the bought roundup. Monsanto. They exactly. bought it, and, you know, they bought it for 63. <laughs> billion dollars yeah. and market cap today for Bayer is we're hovering around 57 and a half 58 yeah. billion um, so uh, they have to be questioning that decision for sure and shareholders already have mm -hmm. interesting stuff All right Alexis Keenan thanks for joining us sure